Hi everyone, welcome Hello. to our podcast. Let's go. Yeah, sure podcast. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you for being here. Today we have an exciting episode. An exciting episode. We're going to talk about unfash- unpopular fashion opinions. Yes, we're just going to judge. That's all we're doing. We're sitting here. I'm sitting here in my menswear yeah. <laughs> clothes, judging fashion. How that works, I don't know, but let's go. Let's go. (laughs) Want to chat? Yeah, sure. (laughs) So, in terms of fashion, where do you think uh, you are? I'm the worst person (laughs) for fashion advice. I don't even know how I'm going to be talking about this. How would you describe your, like, style? Athleisure. (laughs) I wear athleisure clothes. You wear Lululemon. Honestly, I I got hooked. This is a Lululemon shirt right now. You it's, see this? They're so nice and comfortable. I'm Lululemon down, boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and for myself, I would say I don't have really a style. I change. I ha- I wear everything. You wear everything. Yo, yeah. let's just hold up for a second. What? I'm talking about fashion. I just cut all my hair off. Oh, true. See this? I got a clean buzz right here. James, I don't have such short hair since like we got engaged. Like, yeah. Nine years. Nine years. That's crazy. It was the damn alopecia. All those people with alopecia, I feel for you. And then the alopecia got me. It got me. <laughs> I got bronchitis. Ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. Damn. Yeah. So, so when taking... I like run my hands through it, it feels like so different. Uh, felt so good. Like this first shower. Yeah. You felt Man. it all. <laughs> felt it like boom, hit the scalp right away. It was dope. That's awesome. Yeah. So... James is super fashionable. Yeah, basic. He brought back his look. I took it back to the basics. Do you want to bleach your hair maybe? That's a different look. Chris Breezy? (laughs) Never mind. (laughs) I'm going to go Chris Breezy. Um, Okay, so let's say... uh, So what we're going to talk about these unpopular fashion... uh, I don't know why I'm yelling. (laughs) First of all, <laughs> let's just stop right there. Um, these unpopular opinions. Yo, and then you tell me, you're like, maybe you don't have to talk that loud. How dare you? And then I don't. And you're like, you seem tired when you... Remember when we were doing vlogs <laughs> in Paris and I was like this? Because <laughs> I'm so tired. You were so like, monotone? Yeah. <laughs> James was trying to be upbeat. I was like... Uh... <laughs> you were down. Yeah. <laughs> down in the dumps. <laughs> No, I wasn't. <laughs> I know. I was so happy. If anything, that has changed now. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bring you out. I'm going to pull you out of the pits. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So these are, uh, these are like, I guess, controversial opinions. Yeah. About right? fashion. And like we found them like just online, I guess. Yeah. We were looking at it. And also we Funny. think of some of them we thought of our own ourselves. They're yeah. just kind of jokes. Yeah. Um, okay, let's get in the first one. So, mm-hmm. do you think Crocs are fashionable? I was such a hater of Crocs until I got my first one. And it's not even the Croc brand. <laughs> yeah, it's the dollar store brand or off brand. Yeah, it's not a dollar store brand. Excuse no? Excuse you. No. Yo, don't hate on the dollar store. She bought these dollar store sandals and they are fire. They're the best. They're the worst in water, though. Like, they cannot really? get wet. Yeah. Why? You Where even you, you told me that on what? the deck. I almost <laughs> lost. I almost lost it going down the stairs. No, it's because you fall all the time. It doesn't matter what footwear you you have on. You just fell. No, I we banged started. my knee. You always <laughs> either are tripping over something. It's not the sandals. Well, no, it, it. He's right. It's so slippery. So you had some bootleg Crocs. Yeah, my bootleg Crocs. <clears throat> They're not from the dollar store, but they might as well be. I'm sure they're from the same plastic company. <laughs> and like they're yeah, like this up. fluorescent green, would you say? Yeah, yeah. And I love them. I wear them with socks. It's like comfy. I added to a... No, not really. Not for the comfort. I just think because I added to certain looks, like mm-hmm. outfits, and then it just makes it kind of look cool. Rather than like super put together, it becomes yeah. casual and cool. I mean, I think Crocs are... They're Crocs ugly, are, man. Crocs are ugly, period. Yeah, they're ugly, <clears throat> for sure. They look stupid. Mm-hmm. I think they look dumb. It's a weird looking shoe, but I think they're super comfy. 
Remember yeah. when that they used to have those videos? What are those? Yeah. And it was people who wore Crocs. Crocs. They, they were like the OG pioneers of wearing Crocs to school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they knew it then. I know. Trendsetters. Big time. Trendsetters. All those people should get like royalties on that. <laughs> So if you don't know what Crocs are, maybe you don't. There are these ugly slippers that are kind of closed toe and they have like a little strap at the back. If you put it on, it's called sports mode mm. <laughs> where you can like run for it. Yo, I love those Crocs that just say sport. Yeah. When they're not Crocs. When they're not yeah. Crocs, it just says sport. <laughs> yeah. Mine doesn't even say that. <laughs> <clears throat> I love those off brand. Yeah. It's funny. Um, <laughs> sport. I was going to say something about it. I forgot. Oh, I've heard that now people wear them to the gym. Is that true? I, I don't know. Yeah. I haven't been to the gym in time, so I <laughs> can't really say. Also, the gym we go to maybe not too fashionable. I just choked on my water. Ah. <laughs> He's either slipping, falling, or, <laughs> or choking. Ah, I'm having a rough time today. Midlife crisis, eh? Shave all my hair off. <laughs> <laughs> like those ladies after when they have kids yeah they cut moms. their hair short some moms I why do they do that i don't know i feel like that's a bad fashion move but i don't know the reason behind it you just don't like short hair doesn't mean it's a bad fashion move <laughs> <laughs> you don't like short hair you have the shortest hair on yeah. right now. <laughs> What am I saying? What am I saying? What a hypocrite. Yeah, big time. Send this man out. We should do another episode on hypocrisy. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Okay. All we so, got to do is replay our podcast. Yeah, basically. <laughs> just replay it. Yeah. So you think um, then you don't like Cox. So you don't think they're fashionable. Uh, yeah, I think it looks jokes, to be honest. Yeah. Um, if it's not in your backyard. But so when I've worn my green ones out here and there, did you think actually, it no. looked bad? That's that's you o- can be honest. No, 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 that's okay. <laughs> to be honest, I was gonna say I want to correct it. I don't actually think it looks bad. What I think is I don't like about them is when people start putting those things on them. Oh, the little like I get it. I want to do that for you because I think it's like Cute. it's cool because everybody's got their personality and stuff. Yeah. Well, I feel like there's just like stigma that's like attached to it. It's like yo, these are like jordans you know these are hermes crocs or whatever gucci little <laughs> you know those little imagine things imagine hermes, hermes did a they're probably gonna collab with crocs <laughs> yo that'd That's, be jokes i'd pay to see that but you know what i'm saying all those little things they put what are they called i don't know gibbets whip gibbets i have no i idea. think they're I called trying to think gibbets yeah it's like a little yeah, boomers coming out of me <laughs> yeah I have never heard gibbets before that oh, word. I'm going to look this up. It's kind of like charms, but for your yeah, box. Yeah. So you add it on. What are they called? Clip-ons? Gibbets, man. <laughs> They're called gibbets. Look. On Crocs? Yeah. That's They're those hilarious. little things. Look, gibbets right there. Ew, look at that one. This one's got fingers. Like toes coming out of the Crocs. The gibbets are toes. Yeah. Oh, I like... You buy those for Nima. This one's pretty dope. This, this Croc That's has... It. It has mini Crocs on it. That's the gibbet. That's a flex right there. That's yeah. like saying. Some Crocs have like heels now. Yo, this one's got spoilers. That's Crocs. ultra sport. This one's sick. Look at that one. Croc, the Croc Echo. This is not a sponsor, by the way. We're just going to put that out there. <laughs> yeah, I would. Crocs, holla at us. I wouldn't be talking any shit about Crocs. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I used to be a hater. Now I like them. I wonder how it will feel if I buy a real croc and if it would be different. Personally, I don't care like about yeah, brands yeah. and which is one of our other. It's a good segue. Yeah, we might as well go into that. Okay. What? Yeah. You keep going because you Yeah, you that's, see. What I, that's what I was going to say. Our other one like unpopular opinion is like brand name, brand designer labels is a waste of money. Mm. And we're talking brand luxury like designer labels like a chanel yeah. bag yeah i or a mess bag i don't have a problem with it i think like whatever you want to spend your money on i do think i do think there's like that barrier between more money more problems more money more problems <laughs> <laughs> probably because what you had to do to get it <clears throat> you know con people con people yeah mm. A little too real. 
Um, so close to home. Yeah, but I think there's better quality. Like the quality, I think, on more expensive stuff is generally better and longer lasting, which yeah. I can appreciate. I like stuff that can like go through the test of time and a lot of wear and tear. But I think there's a balance to it. Like, yeah. I don't know. I like, I think it's, I think if you can afford it, why not have it? I'm not a fan of like super like high end brands if it's like, it says it. Like if I had something that said Gucci across my chest, I'm not going to wear that. I don't think unless it looked like dope. That statement alone is also very, uh, what's the word? Like posh. Because posh? Okay. a lot of people, yeah, like, you know, people who are like, uh, you listen to some song, you're like, that's a sick song. It's on the radio. People are like, I listened to that when it wasn't, when this artist wasn't on the radio. Oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. feel like that kind of, st- obviously, I, I know I'm like the mean. guy who listens to the songs that aren't on the radio. <laughs> yeah. Have you heard track number four? It's, yeah, it's my like, favorite. He's no too mainstream it. now. You know when people say that? Yeah, yeah. Which I get what I you're feel saying. that though. Mainstream stuff, it just yeah, usually goes no, down. Yeah, no, 100%. But I feel like even that, like everybody buys, I mean not everybody, but majority of people buy brand name to show off. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Not because the quality is great. I'm sure you can find a good brand. Yeah, that's where I won't. That's where I'll get like, like Nima has that shirt, that rose shirt. Is it Dolce? Dolce and Gabbana. Dolce? It's really nice. But I didn't even know it was Dolce. And but it if, still looks good. And it's and a t-shirt. Yeah. He's washed, washed it like a hundred times. And the material of it, I don't know what it is, but mm. it's super nice. Is it soft? Yeah, it's it soft silky. and it's like, yeah, it's kind of silky. It's really, really nice. But you'd never know it was Dolce. And I'm like, see, mm-hmm. like that's something I would yeah. buy. Yeah. You know? It just has roses on it. But you know what? People who are into brand names would know that. Would know that, D- yeah. yeah. D&G, yeah. I appreciate it. If you like brand names, like our friend, he's like all into brands. And like, you know what? I don't, if that's your thing, that's your thing. Yeah. Like, But do you think it's a waste of money? That's the question. I think in excessive, like anything with excessive, like I have, that's why I'm selling half of my gear. Yeah. I have too much and it's all brands. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was but that's excessive. not designer brand. We're talking like clothing, yeah. clothing and accessories that like, what's the point just to have it? I don't think it's always a waste I of money. I also <laughs> like it, by the way. I'm not saying I, I don't want like I love Chanel. That's like my brand. If I had to choose a brand, it would be Chanel. I like their perfumes. I like their bags. I like their shoes. I like their jewelry. I like everything about it. I think having brand name stuff when you could put your money elsewhere like just in your lifestyle yeah. is is a waste of money. Yes. If you have If you're like wealthy If you have wealthy, money then yeah, it makes no, sense. No, or you're living comfortable and you're like I have this money that I allocated to spend yeah. and I want to spend it on whatever I want. Sure, go buy that yeah. bag even if it's 20 Gs but you feel like okay, I already have a house. Uh, mm. bills are already paid. Everything's yeah. good and I want to buy that bag. Go buy it. I don't That's know. What I you feel like if you're money. twenty G's is a lot, though. Jeez. Yeah, I, I would disagree with that. I would say if you're a normal, like middle class family who's comfortable, like you said, to but spend I don't think twenty G's. 20 are not. G's, okay, let's say like a thousand two. bucks or two yeah. grand. Yeah, something two like that. Who is like okay? You know, like I have <clears throat> like a nice pair of shoe. I don't even know the brand. What's it? Milan. Melancho Blanc, Milano Blanc, or <laughs> that's something? how much we care. I don't know. Uh, I have a I can't parish, remember, it. yeah. And, um, like even then, James was like, I'll buy it for you. And I'm like, honestly, for you to pay that much for one pair of shoes, it would bug me. It was, it was my birthday, so it was like, I asked everyone who was gonna buy me a gift to just put in the money so that it would help. So it paid for half, and you paid for half. Is that it? Yeah, Manalo, Manalo Blanc. Blanik. 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 <laughs> Blanik. You know the yeah. like uh, the shoe from Sex in the City. She had the blue. I got it in black. Yeah, because you really wanted them. They're really cute. They're nice. I didn't really want them. What are you talking about? I thought you wanted them. <laughs> oh. We chose them that day at the mall. Remember? Oh, okay, okay. But I thought I it was a pair that you wanted up. for for a long time. No. Definitely not. I guess I, I just went blinders when you were like, got it, got it. Yeah. I just want you to buy some, because you always buy, 
you never really like i don't this buy is, expensive stuff. that's that's a uh, scenario where i would say spend right like so james bought me a chanel pair of glasses for yeah. our anniversary which was end of august yeah it is now december and i have not I taken them, them out of the box i even tried to look at the box and or at like, the bag she's it. like don't touch it <laughs> she's never gonna wear them <laughs> they're gonna be like super vintage and because they've never been touched they'll be like what we pay times 10 because <laughs> actually some brand names like chanel and hermes and all all those brands uh they are investments yeah because they hold their value right they hold their value and they go up in value like chanel goes up in value right, right. but i still think it's a waste of money because at the end of the day who cares even though i like chanel yeah <laughs> you know like if I want a pair of Chanel like cute um, sneakers, their sneakers are really cute. I want their earrings. Their earrings are like four thousand dollars. That's are you crazy. Kidding me? That's what crazy. They, what if it falls? What if I lose it? I think some of these things, like the gold, shouldn't be more expensive it's than what it's not real gold or diamond. What? Yes. What a flex. That's bullshit yeah. that, that's not even right i know that's actually dumb if you buy that stuff that's, that's not saying. real gold. a lot of it is not real like a lot of <clears throat> brands is not even like i understand some people pay because it's like crocodile skin which like to me not cool no but some people are into those kind of like yeah. leathers or whatever right yeah but personally i'm <clears throat> like oh that's sad but know? i mean to buy like like pay like four grand for like fake crocodile skin <laughs> Do you know what i mean that's like the same yeah. thing yeah yeah yeah, for sure anyway so we don't agree let's go to the next one okay <laughs> leggings are not pants what does that mean so like people who wear like leggings like i guess like yoga pants for pants. leggings that would be leggings yeah they are pants. pants well they've been pants for a while oh, what i don't understand pants like cover your legs and leggings cover your legs yeah i don't i don't understand that but i can see that it's not like no like a is it like, like a pant. pair of pants it's not a pair of pants i guess they're called leggings it, that one is weird well i think that's the reason why because yeah. right would yeah, you say they're, they're not are? pants i guess it's not a pair of pants they're leggings <clears throat> leggings are meant to be worn like underclothes to keep you warm or for sports because they're tight and like they won't but that's not caught. true because back in the day like i remember my mom had leggings the ones with the heel it would like strap oh, yeah. into the bottom so of your did foot we. yeah i had yeah. it as a kid you remember those those I were pants get, yeah they were pants and they were comfortable and the reason why they had that thing under your feet is so you could wear it under your pants and it wouldn't go up it would hold it down oh sick like you know when you wear your jacket yeah, you yeah. hold your sleeve it was automatically like that <laughs> so i cool. feel like that's what they were for but of course, like they're they so got away comfy, from it. yeah, yeah, that we started wearing it. My back just hurts so much. Maybe you should wear some leggings. <laughs> Put some pants on. She has <laughs> yeah, pants, pants on. on. <laughs> <laughs> just to, <laughs> don't let your minds go <laughs> run wild. Okay, so we both think that they are. Are yeah. not um i don't know I don't, I, know. I don't know where i stand on this i don't really care about <laughs> yeah. this to be honest <laughs> let's go to the next one yeah skinny jeans are out of style okay for dudes for for guys i think I, nowadays i get i gotta be careful with saying guys yeah and cause dudes because i mean what can i say now no you can say that I think you mean for I think if you're a, I think if you're a thick hetero man, you shouldn't be wearing skinny like jeans. Like in London, England, we saw a bunch of hetero looking, I guess, men. Yeah. That was the style there. They would they were wearing skinny jeans that like look like tights, not even leggings. Yo, man, when when like and we're not used I, to seeing that. I right? know what's in your pocket just by the shape. Like that's too tight. <laughs> like that's too tight. Like I shouldn't. And they have thick legs. Thick legs. These are big dudes. I mean, go on, Queen. <laughs> that's it's just crazy. It's like how, I how? Know. even how comfortable you know, you know what's that? a joke? You know what is actually a joke? What these dudes like this like whole hardcore like I'm gangster like hip hop stuff mm -hmm. and then they're rocking these like skinny skinny jeans I've never seen that it's like all these rappers it's like all these young guys I, I mean maybe not in the last like two years yeah 
Okay. I don't know because I just couldn't take it anymore. I'm like, this is whack. But like from that whole mumble rap era and stuff mm-hmm. like that, it was jokes. That's crazy. Like skinny. Yeah. but And they don't even fit on their waist, man. It's like just at your thighs. Oh, so it's still loose. It's not even loose. It just doesn't go up any higher. Oh, you know what I mean? Tight. Yeah, it's like stops <laughs> it's the there. And then they walk like they have this like waddle like this, and it's like, yeah, it's just because I pants. think skinny jeans. Honestly, it's such a personal thing. But I've seen. I don't know if you guys have seen the TikToks where it's um showing guys like guys have made it where they used to wear skinny jeans, mm-hmm. and then they're like, oh my god, my skinny <laughs> jean era has changed and then they're wearing straight pants like those old school pleated yeah and it looks sick like the transition between that and and you know fashion changes because we used to see skinny i never thought skinny jeans on guys looked good especially when they're like leggings but when they were a little bit tighter it was nice like you had tighter but not i wouldn't call them skinny jeans they were more like straight they were tapered fitted fitted straight legs Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. never had skinny jeans. You, no, never. I couldn't couldn't yeah. fit into them, man. Yeah, and actually, like, they just that's why they bought girls. Pardon? A lot of guys wore girl skinny jeans. For real? For real? Yeah, yeah. Because guys, awesome. guys, they don't make them. They didn't make them stretchy. Oh, we didn't have I'm that sure fabric. Now they do. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. for sure. But yeah, I don't like the look of it. No, I don't either. For men. <clears throat> I like for- fitted jeans. Just fitted jeans is good. Yeah. I mean, to whatever. For me personally, fitted jeans. Yeah, even I think skinny jeans like for girls is still a little outdated now. I'm sure it'll come back. But what is skinny jeans for girls? Because you just wear tight jeans. That's basically it's tight like jeans. The ankle is so tight. We're just like those ones, you know, and it's not cropped. Okay, what about those? You know those Zara ones, the ripped ones that yeah, you lost. Those I are would, skinnies. Probably, but they're cropped, so they show your ankle, and it's fine. You know what I oh, mean? Oh, you're saying when it goes right down to yes, the... Yes, to the shoe. Like, <laughs> you can't. That's real. That's well, what okay. I think about. So what's the difference of those and leggings? I guess the feel of material. Because the ones I have that are like that were jeans. Like jaggings. That's why they're called jaggings. Jaggings. <laughs> I haven't heard that word in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Jaggings. I used to have a pair of... Um, Jet leggings that look like black pants with like pockets and everything and i would wear it to the salon when i worked there so and it was so comfortable and it looked professional but when i wore it with like flats and no socks it didn't look very um professional so right i guess you have to kind of see how where you're going and stuff where did you google uh this fashion cultural one oh, okay I was listening to you. All right. Yo, so I I just looked up uh, because I wanted to. We were wondering what this fashion cultural appropriation. Oh. um, So it's this question is, do you think fashion cultural um, appropriation is a huge concern? So what is fashion cultural appropriation? So it's like runway models wearing Native American get up. I'd say like don't dabble into these things because if it's disrespectful... I would say no, it's not appropriate to do that. So it's a concern. It's a concern. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's something that's sacred to someone, you know, and you're wearing it as just fashion. And I know a lot of people wear fashion because they love it, not because they want to be disrespectful. But just in case if someone's going to get, I guess, offended. Yeah, I think it's good not to do that. If that's like something that's going to be a part of, then you should have the people from that culture wear it. Yes, represent it. Right? You should have them represent it. I also think that maybe on some occasions, because you know how some people are raised in different cultures? Mm -hmm. Like, let's say there's, we're not talking like British people in South Africa okay you know well actually south africa is very multicultural yeah it's crazy uh let's say there's like this guy who has supported a native reserve for his entire life he's devoted his life to you know going there and helping the community yeah yeah i think those are like to wear their get up or their cultural clothes yeah i think that's that's okay I wouldn't I don't mind if somebody wore cultural clothes from my culture although in iran we don't have like one, every region has a different one. I just think it's jokes like Trudeau going around. 
like Trudeau, like, like, like turbans and stuff. Yeah. Like, I mean, that you're was showing for Halloween. No, that's blackface. Yeah, he did blackface for Halloween. But he did like the with um our that other guy, the prime minister. Oh, he uh, went to like the Wally Jagmeet Singh or whatever. Is yeah, it? something like that. Yeah, he's wearing a turban and stuff. I he think went to I think the Wally. Probably a Diwali probably, yeah. festival. I think some of that stuff is funny. Like I've, well, he's just being respectful. <laughs> yeah, to wear their clothes. <laughs> I find him so funny, man. I think I think I I think they supported him. I don't know the whole. Yeah, community, I don't think but... anyone was upset. We're talking about fashion on the runway. Runway style. Yeah, yeah. not like Justin Trudeau going to the Diwali festival. <laughs> <laughs> he's basically on a runway. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So okay, that's cool next this one's pretty sassy this one's sassy yeah saucy or sassy it's both <laughs> what it says plus size models should not be celebrated okay you go first uh i don't think they should be i don't see the point of celebration what uh, is, there's no victory what is celebrated i don't mean? know why there needs to be anything i think what if does you're celebrated a, mean uh, like what they're uh, like this i would say or in the terms of on magazines and like oh my god like look at this plus size model she's on the magazine wow like that's so good for her and all this stuff i think because we have these standards these societal standards okay. where it's always like skinny people okay. and fit people on magazines so when you see someone of like plus size or who looks different yeah they're on the magazine it becomes like a big deal okay that's celebrated yeah okay i would say okay wouldn't you i don't know i always thought so ce like celebrated was like like made in like celebrated like a party <laughs> but i don't think but in this sense greatly admired yeah admired okay. admired is different I think admiration comes, if you're going to say celebrated, if you have a plus, size, I think anybody can be. So, yeah, if that's the case, oh, I don't know. They should be admired. No, because I feel like it's kind of putting them. And it's a way it's like, wow, I can't believe you made it. That's to, to me how I would me, perceive it's like, it. If, why not? So why let's, not be celebrated and admired? Like for a person, man, male or female, doesn't matter, whatever gender, you're in a bigger size we all know that they were never celebrated before yeah or even shown as normal and that is normal especially in the u.s and the western culture yeah because everyone is larger because of die our diet right so why not be celebrated and like actually be happy that you can see people who look kind of normal on magazines yeah i think I think, and that's the thing, right? That's where it comes into because they shouldn't be, nobody should really be celebrated because we should just be accepting of everybody. There should be no occasion for us to admire them except for their personality. But do you get what I mean? Do. Or what they've done. Yeah, but we do. And like people. I know, but it's like the whole judgment and shallow and superficial thing. Yeah. That's where that standard comes from. I think from. in this sense, it's not superficial. In this sense, it's celebrated because it's unique and it was never done before. And it was like shamed, you know? Yeah, yeah. So to me, like models, even on um, those sports magazines, like men, t men Health, sometimes yeah. they have bigger plus size models yeah yeah and it's like it shows that you know it's normal because they're not unhealthy they're still working out those women or those men it's yeah just, for they're sure not in perfect shape they're not starving themselves they're not like dehydrated just to take that picture you know what i mean yeah for sure i think i think everybody should be celebrated and i think those like plus size models or any anybody who's unique and abnormal should be Everyone should, should be celebrated. Be, should be given the same equal chance. Yes. Right? But Do you I know feel what like I'm saying? you changed your answer. No, I didn't. <laughs> I was I was more or less like playing kind of like the neutral ground because I can see that it's like it's it's hard because I don't want to celebrate somebody if it's like offensive towards them. Oh. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's like, oh, you're Why here. do you wow. even notice I, me? I'm I, here. I admire you because you're here. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's like girls who are overweight, they lose weight, then they get noticed. Yeah. 
And it's like, well, I didn't notice you before. And they're yeah. like, oh, thanks. Yeah, it's You know rude. what I mean? It's yeah. it's kind of rude. That's how you meant it. More yeah, like, exactly. No, it should be normal. So yeah. in a way, it should be the same, whether everyone is celebrated or not. Yeah. And to so, me, it's just more fun which to is, celebrate everybody. <laughs> which is such a hard answer because now if you say that, then it means, no, I, they, don't, they shouldn't be celebrated. <laughs> yeah, Do you get exactly. what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why I said no, but I had to explain yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> Words can mess stuff up. If I put that up as a short, we'll get obliterated. I'm gonna get blacklisted. Ob- what's that word? Obliterated. 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 <laughs> obliterated. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> obliterated. Obliterated. Can you? You can't say it. No. Say obliterated. Obliterated. Oblit. Oblit. Ter. Obliterated. Obliterated. Hey. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> it took a long time, but I, I think I got it <laughs> a little better than before. Um, yeah, interesting. Very yeah. interesting. Do you care? Um, do you care a lot about uh, like the brands? Do you think it? Do you think they matter? Do you think that they better brands give better quality? Or like name brands have better quality than off brands? I don't think all of them do. Would you say the majority do? I don't know too much, but probably. No, from your experience. Uh, like, let's say you had something that was Nike and something that was oh. George from Walmart. <laughs> but I'm not. Like I take shirt. care of my stuff. So whether it's Nike or George, I'm not like destroying it. Okay, let's say this. It's not about destroying it. It's also called wear and tear. Wear, life, and tear. wear and tear. Wear and tear because I have so much clothes. Ah, yeah, you can't even count. I know. You're I'm like, sure though, if I had two <laughs> pairs, one Nike, one George, and I wore them at like exactly the same amount, I'm sure Nike would last longer. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I'm assuming. Yeah. If not, then that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what actually was the biggest game changer for me Hmm. that i found out and this because these shirts these dress shirts eaten oh yeah dress these eaten dress shirts are not cheap they're they're like i mean there's you can obviously go up more but we're talking like the average person wearing a dress shirt this shirt is like 300 bucks yeah and And it's just a regular dress regular dress shirt um they have good seams so you can like tailor it so you can make it like fit nice but the fabric on this and the fit of this shirt, when you put it in a blazer, it's like, it's, it's incomparable. Do you think it's just because it's stretchy that you like it? It's like the material, the stretch, the fit. It's like nothing gets bunched up. Oh, nice. You know, nothing is there. You feel like your jacket is just your jacket. You know when you wear like a, a coat and a t-shirt? Yeah. That's oh. how it feels like. No, I no. I hate when I wear a sweater and a coat. Yeah, like exactly. Today, my, my coat, my Topshop coat. Yeah, felt yeah. like if I went like this because I had a thick sweater underneath it, it felt like it was going to rip at the back. So like a lot of like cheaper suit shirts, like yeah. $50, $100 Le even. Yeah, really, really like kind of budget friendly shirts. No offense to Le Chateau. <laughs> yeah, I know. We used to wear them. Yeah. But that's how Not it me. feels. <laughs> that's how it feels when you're like that. It's like tucked in, especially if you're like, I have that like a broader shoulder. Yeah. So it's like harder to fit. But these shirts that I don't mind paying. And those thing the thing is is that yeah, it's three hundred bucks, but I haven't had to buy another white shirt since that since our wedding day. And that yeah, was eight you years keep ago. Getting it, uh, what's it I called? just got it tailored. I just got it resized. No, when you give it dry clean. Dry clean? Yeah. I dry and cleaned it twice. That's it. Yeah. Well, we don't really use it that much. No. <laughs> I bought another one. A another black white? One. Oh ba- black one. Yeah. yeah. It's worth it. Black it's worth white. It, yeah. Now you have it forever. Yeah. They're very good. So that's a that's quality on that, you know. Yeah, but like that is not a brand name, you know? I think it is. It's a big decent brand. It's for like, wedding stuff, maybe? No, for like like Eaton? Eaton. Yeah. Eaton. It's not a low key brand. I didn't know it existed. It's more like those like it's always in those niche suit shops. Not niche even. It's mm. like it's a big brand. I think it's more UK. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's not like a brand that everyone knows about. No, definitely yeah. not. Because no one really thinks to about... I don't think people think too much about the dress shirt. 
They always think about the blazer and the pants. Yeah, but the dress shirts that people, I guess, buy that are brand name would be brand name dress shirts. Yeah, they'd probably be pretty nice. Yeah. Like Harry Robeson maybe has nice ones. And then you're going to go try some that also suck. And it's like, it's just because of the brand, the yeah, label. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I think it's some, a lot like of times Hugo it's a Boss. waste of money. Yeah. Hugo Boss dress shirts are terrible. Yeah. They suck. I'd rather wear something that I find in Valley Village <laughs> than that Hugo Boss. <laughs> I'm sure you can find good vintage ones. <laughs> probably find a Hugo Boss in Valley Village. <laughs> Yo, I found this Hugo Boss in Valley Village. <laughs> Be so pumped about it. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, that's it nice. for our questions so yeah and guys actually to add on we're gonna be traveling soon james is gonna yeah. tell you the exact details now <laughs> no go i don't want to say anything i didn't know you were gonna say that yeah i just i'm so excited that's yeah. why we're gonna go somewhere that we usually go to and i'm so excited because we're going with family it's gonna be so nice yeah first family holiday trip yeah, holiday trip. Yeah, well, you're siblings. Right. It's all siblings and then my one. Yeah. It's going to be nice. I wish that my dad could come, but he couldn't take it off. But yeah, it's going to be really nice and I'm so excited. And you know what? I was thinking before even this episode that I was going to do like a fashion video of all my outfits from there. Oh, yeah. So look out for that in uh, on our Instagram. And we can rate it. Yeah, and then you can tell me. You'd be like, you suck. Your jacket is the worst. That's not brand name. <laughs> you shouldn't be celebrated. I was yeah, <laughs> I was actually telling James, I'm like, should I bring my Chanel sunglasses? He's like, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wear those. Like, come wear on. Wear those. Bring them. I'm it's like, a perfect place because it's very safe there. I have to yeah. worry about getting mugged. Yeah, for sure. I would never not wear it because I think I'm going to get mugged. You always think people are going to take stuff. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it <laughs> behind. <laughs> oh, that's why. Yeah. Okay, okay. I get scared. That's why even with like Chanel earrings, it's like, how do you think? Like, do you walk around like this so they don't fall? <laughs> <laughs> Put ta tape them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Glue them on. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let us know what you think. Obviously, every time we put out like videos like this, we're just kind of you know talking to our friends that's how it feels we're talking to each other and our friends and yeah. giving our opinion our opinion is nowhere correct we know that we're just sharing it with i you. struggle with it <laughs> i view i think my opinion is very he's a hundred percent i'm a hundred percent yeah yeah um it's it's black and white until it's his turn and then everything is gray yeah <laughs> but we try to be a, yeah exactly <laughs> like you should yeah <laughs> we try to be as unbiased as we can um and we're not these are just our opinions it's all lighthearted stuff change our minds if you think you can mm -hmm. we're open to about it about crocs yeah about like leggings i think i changed pants. my own mind on crocs <laughs> yeah. in this you did by the end of it yeah when i was like so when i wear mine with my outfits do they look bad you were like hmm. they actually look cool yeah they're cool yeah. right it's funny how our opinions change on fashion and so many things. I guess that's mm -hmm. the whole point of life. It's to evolving. Be, to be open-minded and evolve as a human being. I'm a fashion nomad. Please. How? Yeah. <laughs> I was actually going to tell you, can you like buy a few nice sweaters? Yeah, I'll go to Lululemon right now. No, man. <laughs> I swear, man. Yo, you this stuff doesn't nice wear one. out though. No, but you need nice like like heavy sweaters you, you know, can get cool. those but it's too hot there not from where oh, we're for here yeah sure for like you to wear instead of don't let me buy clothes i'm not gonna get the good ones <laughs> okay next episode james is not gonna have a lululemon outfit on okay hey last time i didn't you did it i'm pretty sure you did i don't Your think orange so shirt no what were you wearing black shirt cool what was it freaking nike <laughs> <laughs> athleisure Adle another athleisure brand <laughs> yeah okay thanks for watching and listening guys we love you so much yeah. let us know if you agree with some of our points or if you disagree we would love to hear it no matter what yes go follow us on instagram yes at tina talabi follow us on youtube 
Tina, Tina and James. James. And go listen to our podcast if you didn't catch it on here. Okay. Yeah, yeah sure. If podcast. you're watching this, you you're can continue best. it in the car. <laughs> if you're in the car, you can watch it when you get home. Yeah. Okay. We love you love guys. Love you guys. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.